Hello, Your Honor, and welcome now to Tuesday. Thanks for logging in to Soul Garden. Cloudy, self-reflective, doing a lot of learning today for the judge and juries of the Zodiac. The moon is in Gemini, putting emotional focus on your learning. This is the time where you kind of wander around your life just thinking, I wonder if, or I wonder why, or why does this happen? So it's a big why time. It's basically you upgrading what you believe and why. It's you reliving the last 30 days emotionally. This is a time where people tend to reread an old email, play back an old voice message and go, what the hell was that person thinking? This is the first time it starts to hit you. Either way, you are a little spaced out and I wouldn't operate heavy machinery. Then around the sun, we're in chapter one now of Sun in Scorpio. This month, the Librans are raising their soul capital. It is time to raise your prices. It's time to reevaluate what you're really worth. This comes down to self-esteem, your productivity, your ability to draw in abundance, and really your magic. This is the manifestation point of your awareness. Now today, Jupiter rules the day. So today we want to explore the possibilities of what might be going wrong. Chapter one is always what's not working. So what might be wrong with your self-confidence? What might be wrong with your ability to manifest? Just kind of think outside your box and be open-minded about it, but also keep in mind Venus. Venus is retrograde in Scorpio right now, which means as you're exploring what might be wrong, you want to look at areas where you are loving yourself or not, okay? So you might say, I don't have good self-esteem because, you know, my hips are too fat. Well, that's not really a good way to look at it with Venus retrograde. If you love yourself, that would not be a determination of whether or not you have good soul capital. So it has to do with loving yourself and coming up with ways to manifest soul capital under the terms of loving yourself. Now, to give you an example, this is kind of a rare transit. The last time Venus was in Scorpio retrograde was the fall or Scorpio of 2002. So think back to 2002 and how you might have been raising prices, going for the raise, trying to manifest maybe for the first time. This is going to give you some clarity. And this is the magic of astrology. It does happen in cycles. We can go back to the last cycle and learn a lot. And it's Tuesday. We've got an episode of Just Ask Us starring Lauren Serafan, our practical comedic advice, and Angelo Eros, our local intuitive. They both come together on camera answering your questions that you've emailed us in a funny and savvy way. Don't miss them. Just Ask Us is streaming everywhere Soul Garden blooms. All right, that's all I have for today. But tomorrow, it's our first Uranus breakdown of the Scorpio season. All that and more in 24. Live, love, be. Soul Garden.